Yo, yo, what's up, Scorpio? I had to redo my video again, so let's get into it. So, the first card I have is Hating Hoes Ain't Happy, and it's because of your success. I'm seeing that oh fucking well because it's only up from here. We got a drunk driver here. I'm seeing that the spell work has them mentally fried and they can't think straight. I'm seeing that there is a comic father figure here who only wants the benefits. They don't want the responsibilities though. And then we got a karmic sister here. This is somebody who wants to real life control what you receive. They want you to need them. So you got somebody that's, you know, overbearing. Okay, to the point that they're trying to control things for you. And it's because they want you to need them. So because you're independent, somebody is trying to like, you know, stronghold you or trying to use their weight. Okay? And this could be somebody that could be using titles. But we have karmic sister. This is this person's title. Okay? And what you're needing to know is that this person is like real life trying to control what you receive. And it's because they want you to need them. We also got a karmic father who could be using that title. This is a father figure. Okay? This person only wants the benefits. But doesn't want the responsibilities though. And then it's like this comic father could have a sister here. Okay? So let's see what's going on. So why is hating hoes ain't happy here for Scorpio? Yeah. These could be hoes that's at a distance from you. With the three of wands, this could be an Aries. But I'm definitely seeing that you could be expanding yourself when it comes to your success. We got the Eight of Swords, and somebody is powerless. So whoever this hating ass hoe is, they just mad because they just mad because they're mentally stuck. They're mad because they're powerless, pertaining to what's coming towards you in the future. Okay, I'm saying that you have numerous of opportunities here, and it's because you took that action, you planned. And you were waiting for your shifts to come in. And somebody is mad because they're powerless to it. With the four of swords, you could have put something to rest with this person. And this could be another reason how somebody is powerless to a situation. I'm also saying that you could have put something to rest to realign yourself. I'm also saying that you could be doing a lot of meditation nowadays. I'm saying that this is how you're recuperating. And it's because right now you're using this time to rest to rejuvenate. So it's like you're cutting ties with people who no longer serve you. You're just putting shit to rest. And with the eight of swords, a motherfucker is powerless because of that. Somebody is also in jail. Okay, this is another reason how this person is powerless. Okay, when it comes to your future. When it comes to your vision. <laughs> yeah, somebody is powerless. This could have been a Gemini, Aries, or a Libra. So why is drunk driver here for Scorpio? We got the nine of pentacles in the reverse. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm saying that this is somebody who is depending on you to take care of them. This is somebody who feel as though, you know, they need a handout. With the nine of pentacles, this is somebody who is depending on people. They're not independent. And with the six of swords, it's like you're moving away from this person to find your peace, to find clarity, and to go on your own personal journey. This could be overseas, but I'm definitely saying that you are, you know, it's growth when it comes to you. It's change. It's healing. And you're releasing this person. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Virgo, but this person can definitely be a drunk driver. Yeah, with the eight of wands, it's like... This person could be wanting to talk to you, but it's like you're removing all obstacles, blockages, and challenges in your life. And with the Six of Swords, it's like you're moving on. I mean, oh well. <laughs> Why is the spell work has the mentally fried? Yeah, a King of Swords, Three of Swords. So this could be a Libra. I'm saying that this is somebody who thought they were smart. And with the Three of Swords, they so fucking smart. To the point that they heartbroken. So somebody is heartbroken here. Somebody could also be heartbroken that you know the truth about them. With the king of swords to the three of swords. This is somebody who did some spell work. And now they mentally fried. This is somebody who purposely tried to hurt you. This is also somebody who tried to come in between a love situation. But with the queen of swords. I'm seeing that um, you're independent. You're very intelligent. You're unemotional. 
you have like a different type of perspective from other people and it's like you're directly honest it's like you have a leader type vibe okay i'm saying that you walked away from this person and the queen of cups who could have been lying here to create some type of conflict and with the two of wands it's like you took this action queen of wands boldly yeah because something was a no-no here but somebody was determined to try to bring some type of imbalances Okay, somebody wanted you to be juggled with the Two of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, but that shit got blocked. Three of Pentacles, this was a group effort. So there was a group of motherfuckers who was trying to block you and cause imbalances here. They was determined with the Nine of Wands, but this was a no-no here. Yeah, Two of Wands, this is the choices that they made here. And they was trying to move forward here with a Queen of Wands. This could have been an Aries, somebody who was trying to cause some type of conflict or battle for you. This is somebody who wanted you to struggle, okay? This is also somebody that you had some type of disagreement with. With the Seven of Swords, this person is definitely a liar, a manipulator, and they're hiding the truth here. We got a Queen of Cups who walked away, and it's out of disappointment. Yeah, because you knew the truth about somebody trying to betray you here. A King of Swords... Yeah, and with the Six of Swords, it's like you moved to calmer water. So you could have been dealing with an Aquarius. It's like you knew the truth about somebody. And now somebody is heartbroken here. Why is Comic Father why is Comic Father figure only wants to benefit? Only wants the benefits? Yeah, Six of Swords. This is somebody that you have released. Okay? This is somebody that you are, you know. It's like you released this person. You healed from this person. Okay, you have clarity about this person. Yeah, with the Five of Cups, this person is disappointed. And it's because they're in despair. This is somebody who is in major regret. They're, they're in sadness, sorrow, and it's because they're depressed. With the Two of Swords, this is somebody who didn't want you to see the truth. They tried to confuse you or possibly blind you. Okay? Yeah, with the two of swords, this could have been a Libra. Yeah, ten of wands. Then this person is feeling overwhelmed. I mean, overwhelmed. <laughs> Burnt out. Scratched out. Yeah, it's like this person is, you know, it's like they overextended themselves here with whatever action they took here with the six of wands. And it's like they did this for clout. Ace of wands. That's why they took this action king of cups so you could be dealing with a king of cups or this could have been a king of cups or nah i'm saying like this king of cups with the four of wands this could be your twin flame so this can't be him this is somebody else who took some type of action and they begin seeing for who they are a clout chaser and they could be weighed down because they overextended their stuff this could be a sagittarius as well a libra we got another scorpio or an aquarius but this comic father figure it's like this person only wants the benefits. They don't want the responsibilities, okay? So why is Karmic Sister... Yeah, we got the Six of Swords in the reverse. So I'm saying that somebody... I'm saying that this Karmic Sister could be like... Let me see. Impending Doom. Let me see. Something about this Karmic Sister. Yeah, I got the Two of Wands. I'm saying that this Karmic Sister made some type of choice, Okay? And it was a no-no here. This person was determined here. They felt like the fight wasn't over. But it's like they was doing this to cause imbalances. And it's because they were in the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody only wanted you to be in this Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And it's because they were in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They were thinking that they could like flip the switch with the two of pentacles to the nine of pentacles in the reverse this person was very determined but this was a no-no here yeah a big no we got no no and big no when they made this choice or when they took this action here with the two of wands i'm saying that this allowed you to move the common water scorpio ten of cups pretending to like a relationship five of swords because somebody was playing a whole lot of mind games here this is somebody who was in competition with you you could have had like an argument with this person seven of cups and this person could have been creating some type of illusion here five of pentacles okay because they wanted you to be you know in poverty they wanted you to also feel lonely they wanted you unemployed they wanted you going through poverty struggle weary desperation this is somebody who saw you as their op nine of cups this was this person's wish fulfillment six of cups in the past a king of pentacles yeah taurus rigor capricorn masculine big yes 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 ace of swords that's the truth 
four of pentacles because they felt as though they would have control they felt like they could hold you back okay three of pentacles this is somebody who was working with other people as well a king of swords so there's a king of swords Three of Swords, who could be heartbroken because you could be this Queen of Swords who walked away. Yeah, because of a Queen of Cups who was lying here. Yeah, Five of Cups, somebody is disappointed because they could have been blinded to the true Five of Cups to the Two of Swords. Ten of Wands, and this person could have overextended themselves. Ace of Wands when they took some type of action. Yeah, Six of Wands to get some type of clout or to get some type of attention here from a King of Cups. This could have been your Twin Flame. So somebody took some type of action to get some type of attention you know, from your twin flame, but this person burnt themselves out. <laughs> yeah, because with the eight of wands, it's like something, something is over. It's like with the eight of wands, it's like once, you could have once been struggling, okay, going through poverty, but it's like with the eight of wands, it's like all obstacles, blockages, and challenges have been removed for you, okay? You got calls coming in fast, rapidly, okay? And you got a queen of pentacles here, seven of pentacles, so there could have been like a queen of pentacles here who could have, um, you know, basically plotted something here. Six of Pentacles. This is somebody who wanted what you had. Eight of Pentacles. But it's like you worked for it. So it's like there could have been a Queen of Pentacles who pay, who basically plotted. Because it's like you go from the seven to the six to the eight. So it's like it would have been better if it was six, seven, eight. So this is how you know this person is like crooked. It's like this person plotted to receive what you had. It's like it's like you and this person could have been like like each other or something in certain, in certain way. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Because with the Six of Pentacles, this talks about equal give and take. Okay? So it's like, it's like you can receive something from this person. But it's like this person plotted to get whatever it is that they have received. And with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like you could have worked for this. And with the Eight of Swords, they're now powerless. Okay? <laughs> because of that. They could be also mentally stuck and trapped. Three of Wands. This is to come in the distant horizon. Ace of Pentacles. So this could be pertaining to like a fi uh, financial opportunity or this could be a career opportunity, okay? But I'm definitely seeing with the Four of Cups that somebody missed the opportunity here. Ten of Pentacles, this could be a family. Ace of Cups from you even giving them any type of love, okay? Joy, wish fulfillment, inspiration. Yeah, and there's a King of Cups here, I mean a King of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who is honest, trustworthy. This is a good father, Okay, this can also be somebody who is an authority figure. I'm saying that this is a third party here. Okay, this is somebody that you want celebrated with. With the Ten of Swords, this person could be possibly, um, this person could have did the ultimate betrayal here. Or they could be trying to, you know, betray you here. But with the Four of Swords, it's like this person is putting something to rest. Two of Cups with somebody that they're in a relationship with. Seven of Wands and blocking this person. Five of Wands because of some type of chaos that they caused. With a Queen of Wands. So with this Queen of Wands, this could be a Leo. Okay. This could definitely be a Leo that's being blocked by a lover here. Yeah, somebody is putting something to rest because of some type of, you know, betrayal here. So this could be this karmic sister, okay? This person could be reaping what they sown here. I don't know, y'all. Y'all got to tell me, all right? 